Hey, we want to welcome you to the One Thing TV podcast <laughs> slash greatest thing on the earth in technology that's ever hit. Mm. Um, no, we, uh, we've, uh, if you're on the site right now, you, we've done some major updates and we're going to continue to working on it. I'm excited about it, actually. Um, Who are you? My name is Dwayne Roberts. And this is my lovely co-hostess. And TV star, apparently. Now that this is TV. Not <laughs> video, but TV. We, that stands for television. We are cutting edge. Very um, cutting edge. And then uh, we got with us Mr. Wes Martin. It is just such a pleasure to be here with you guys. <laughs> That's today. right. I it, feel so honored and blessed. He's well, our neighbor and friend. Well, and friend. It, it is a joy to have you with us, brother. Thank you very much. Wes leads our uh, young adult internship. The one thing internship, yes. One thing internship. And it just started, right? Just started January 9th. We've got a new crew, about 60. Young adults from all wow. over the nation. 60. That's 60, yeah. That's a good size. It's a good size number, yeah. So. Do they all call you pastor and call you at all? I'll call me Reverend. Tonight? I prefer Reverend. Yeah, they, good. They call me Reverend. Just kidding. <laughs> you know, but and my man, understanding they, is you have a lot of women, young ladies. Women. We always have, always have more girls than guys, yes. So a guy. Which says something about the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Just a yeah, thought, boys. Yeah, the girls leading the way. Definitely Absolutely. leading the way. Well, not, they've been here for a month. And, and not in my home. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> Another stellar group. Another good group. <laughs> I'm gonna even let that one go, sweetie. There, there you go. And uh, how long you how long you been here? I've been here uh, about three and a half years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you were a youth pastor. I was a youth pastor, young adult pastor. Actually, I oversaw five year olds to twenty five year olds. <laughs> so I did Excellent. children's church. I did junior high camp, kids camp, high school camp, college group. I did it all. Totally. totally. I did that for five years in Illinois, Southern Illinois for moving out here in Kansas City. That's awesome, five yeah. to 25, that's an excellent age rate. Five to 25, yeah, kept me busy. <laughs> but I loved it actually, I enjoyed it, so I learned a lot. Oh, I bet. Yeah, especially children's search, because if you can keep, You can hold their attention. If you can hold their attention, you're you're doing something wrong. Yeah. yeah. Without, yeah, anyway. Without candy. Right, without candy, <laughs> totally. I don't know if it could be done personally. We had a good time, it was a good time. That's great. Yeah. And uh, I wanna, uh, you got a little boy. Got a little boy, Owen Daniel Martin. He's about 11 pounds now. He was born November 28th. So we and he, are. Uh, and uh, he Wes is, is a little bit of a hunter. So you go into his room, yeah. and uh, I'm freaked out because <laughs> there's antlers on the walls. The the, uh, the the bed, the crib or whatever is full on camouflage. Everything that kid's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then we got a shotgun hanging on the wall already. <laughs> don't, don't. The ones he'll inherit one day. It's my don't. grandfather's shotguns, his rifles. We already put them in his wall. Wouldn't, you know, Freaks start me the out. Process. Yeah, knowing him, he's going to be a dancer, though. <laughs> okay, you know, that's what that's for. <laughs> okay, good. All right. Let's no, move I wanna, on. Um, you just preached at our FCS service um, just a couple weeks ago. Yeah. On God. God. So in the, tr in the Trinity, there's the Father, Son, the, and the Holy Spirit. You right. spoke on him as a father. The reality that God is a father. You know, this is something just for the last few years of my life. Really, my I've been a believer for about 10 years. And, and I had a great experience with my earthly dad growing up. But when I got born again, just a few really bizarre, or not bizarre, but powerful encounters yeah. <clears throat> when the Lord really spoke to me that he was, that he was my father. You know, yeah. when we see yeah. Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount, in Matthew 5 through 7, or just through the Gospels, mm -hmm. You know, Jesus came on the scene with authority and power, and he was adamant yeah. to let the earth know who his father was. Absolutely. Yeah. And then when he began to disciple and he began to train people that would follow him, he then changed the wording and he would say, it is your father. Mm -hmm. It isn't just about his father in heaven. Mm -hmm. He's the perfect son of God. He can surely relate to God as a father. But he took it the next step and he said, no, I want you to relate to God. Yeah. He's your father. Yeah. And then, the, so in my 10 years of walking with the Lord, uh, the Lord has grown this message in yeah. me of relating to Him as my Father. It's huge. It's a powerful message. It mm -hmm. empowers us to be sons and daughters. Mm -hmm. Not in fear that my dad is going or my father will, will uh, discipline me because he doesn't like me and because right. I can't add up. I can relate to Him as a bold, confident son because my Father radically is committed to me. Yeah. And so we see that, first of all, in where? You think John 3.16? I love looking at John 3.16 yeah. in this light. You change one word in John 3.16 from God to Father. Mm -hmm. So in other words, it says, For the Father so loved the world, this is the length that He was willing to go 
to buy Wes to make it op an option for Wes to become his son. Yeah. Right. He was right. willing, the father was willing to go to the links mm -hmm. to crush his son mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that I, Wes Martin, could yeah. be called a son of God, yeah. to relate to him as my father in heaven. Yeah, that's true. I, and, and then even, I mean, you go all the way even to the Old, St Old Testament. You look at Genesis 1.1. 1, 1. In reality, mm -hmm. it's in the beginning, the father. You know, it's in the beginning the Father began to put this thing in motion that He would have human beings to share the bliss of what the Trinity was already experiencing, called the presence of God. Yeah. Out of the generosity yeah. of His heart, He creates human beings to share the pleasure mm -hmm. of, his, of His presence. Yeah. And it splinters off into so many practical realities in our personal life. Mm -hmm. Like, it, what are you talking about? Well, sweetie, just just hang on. Just My tell words us are a, a gift. Bit. Well, that's <laughs> I'm real excited to hear this. <laughs> that's right. No, even um, yeah, zoom in, boys. Um, even thinking about everyone has had some element of dysfunction in their home life. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, regardless of how great their parents are. And so you kind of bring that into your relationship with the Lord. Yeah. But when you meditate on Him as a Father yeah. willing to die, not mm -hmm. just willing, but mm -hmm. completed the task, mm -hmm. and, and for the purpose of raising you up to bring you into His family, mm -hmm. and then your whole family tree is different. Mm -hmm. I mean, He makes all things new. You've been grafted in. And so we have a new way to live. Yeah. And all of a sudden, our identity isn't in our brokenness, but it's in the fact that we bear His name. That's right. And that we're a child of God. That's right. That changes everything. That changes everything. So you can, I mean, I, I'm, I'm big and I want healing. I, I want my, the inside of me healed up and fresh. But sometimes introspection and navel gazing does nothing but leave you depressed at the end of the day. Right. But yeah. looking upwards and meditating uh, on the Father. Good. Who and, he is and what yeah. he's like. And no one and loves def, like him. And his, and his definition of you is yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your identity becomes yeah. rooted in who he says you are yeah. and the fact that he, he chooses me. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that spirit of adoption chooses me as his own. That's right. I love that. I don't get That's tired right. of hearing no. that, knowing full well that he, yeah. he knew what he was getting into yeah. when yeah. he chose me and yeah. he wants me as his daughter. The, the true message of the Father Heart of God empowers believers. It yeah. empowers yeah. sons and daughters to be just that, to be sons and daughters yeah. of the Father of Most High. Yeah, it's huge. It is absolutely huge. Yeah. It gives me confidence. It gives me boldness mm -hmm. to pursue Him as my Papa yeah. instead of this distant God. 